this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Well, this is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. He's got everything you'd want from a top-level keeper. Great shot-stopping, but also a, a very cool head and, and a good organiser. What's more, he's very happy to play sweeper-keeper behind that defence, mopping up loose balls before picking a pass and get his team on the front foot again. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Good take, and he's had a look. Pique gets rid without sophistication. And the counter-attack is on for Barcelona. Jordi Alba. Carvajal sticks in a foot to win it back. There's a lot of movement going on, there's no shortage of options. So I guess they're looking to play around their opponents as opposed to through them. Yeah, the style is designed to dominate the ball and so you dominate your opponents. Hoists it high. Ter Stegen will lay claim to that. Dinks one in. Valverde. Cristiano Ronaldo, and here's Benzema, Cristiano Ronaldo! He's been taken down and the referee has pointed at the spot. And this could turn out to be one big kick of the ball. Yeah, well they were exposed and, and vulnerable and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. This to go one up. Oh, dispatched with certainty. Oh, you could always see he was confident about that. He always looked like he was going to score. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Because of that first goal now, it's a great opportunity to make it one-way traffic and add to this lead. Sergio Busquets. Longley goes looking. Forward it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. Valverde. has got good distance on that lobs it in gently Ter Stegen can claim that 
He spotted the run and played him through. Carvajal positions himself well and cuts it out. Valverde. Ronaldo tries running with the ball at his feet. Cristiano Ronaldo. Longley plays it forward. Valverde. Could be thinking about a shot here. Oh, the ball's come loose. And here's Benzema. Valverde! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Real Madrid really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Messi. It's Messi. Now it's De Jong. Valverde. Valverde tries a pass forward. It's got through to him. And the shot! It's in! A two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. That is going to be the final action of the first half. Well, it's hard to say whether a two-goal advantage under these circumstances is decisive or not, but so far I haven't really seen enough to indicate that the opposition can come out in the second half and improve to that degree. Real Madrid ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. Well, the action has already resumed here. Griezmann. Aguero spreads it towards the left. He gets past his man. He's had a shot. Yes, it's in. The second half off to a spectacular start. And how about that for a volley? Executed to perfection. Oh, look, there's always a bit more satisfaction in executing a first-time volley, and he'll be buzzing inside after that. Barcelona get themselves back into contention. Well, I think they probably needed an early goal in this half just to give them... That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Striding forward, face header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. <laughs> Courtois gets it upfield. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. PK. Ball through needs to be good here. Oh, shooting chance! That has certainly tested the keeper. 
Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. It's been taken short. It's wrestled off the ball. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Jordi Alba set up one goal so far. Going through. And it's Modric. Now it's Benzema. Out to the right. Played back in. What has a pop! And in it goes! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Barcelona have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Real Madrid take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. And here's Aguero. It's Aguero! Aguero clearly became one-eyed then. He just decided to force it. For goal! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage. Valverde. Balls out on the left now. Oh, that's a waste. Griezmann, decent looking ball, now it's Aguero, tries a shot! Barcelona are making a change now. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. De Jong, massive leap! No, he couldn't find the finish. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. De Jong. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. And the counter is on. Barcelona keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Belly. And that's that. 
Real Madrid have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. Well, how will we look back on that? Real Madrid made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's 